Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Louise and I am an eBay reseller. In this video today, I'm going to talk to you about how when you upload your photos to eBay, they rotate and it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to try and get that all sorted when it should be nice and simple and easy to upload your photos and do your eBay listings. I take all my photos with my phone. I've got a Galaxy S9 and there has been no issues when I upload my photos from my app or from an iPad or anything like that. There's been no issues. But when I use my computer to do it, it somehow rotates my photos when I upload them to eBay. And it can get very frustrating. As useful as it is to use the app on the phone or the iPad, it doesn't give you all the options that it does on the computer and also you can't do your bulk listing or something like that on the computer. So for that reason I do want to upload my items using my computer more often now rather than using my phone so I can do it in bulk. I can do uh, listings much much quicker and easier. So I'm going to now show you what I mean by this as it is so much easier to show you than trying to explain. Okay so on my desktop I have a folder here called eBay Dress and when I go into that folder you can see here I've got all of these uh, photos but all the right way up. Um, except these last two here, that's just my own personal fault for not rotating my phone properly. Um, but all of these are the right way up. So when I go to add these photos to eBay, I click add photos. I will then click on the folder that I want to get them from. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to set them all. And then when I click upload, obviously they're going to take a little while to upload. But as they start uploading, they will start to go sideways and it can get very, very frustrating. And obviously there is an option on here to click the rotate button over here. So once you've clicked on one of the photos, you can then click the rotate button and it will rotate it for you. But that you have to do that then with every single photo. And as you can see, as they're uploading, they are all uploading sideways. And if you want to do your listings quite quickly and get things done quicker, it can be very time consuming to do this. So it'd be so, so much easier to be able to have them all put up as they are supposed to. So the purpose of this video is to show how you can upload your photos to eBay and not have to deal with this sideways thing. I'm not 100% sure if it applies to digital cameras or whether it is just mobile phones, but if it does obviously apply to digital cameras, then hopefully this uh, will help you as well. Obviously, if the photo is sideways because you took it sideways, then there's not much you can do about that. You will have to go in and rotate it. That's your own fault for not taking it properly. <laughs> so, like, for example, you can see these last two photos here. They are, they've, they're sideways. And then when they upload to eBay, they go even more sideways. Um, so I have to then doubly rotate these ones if I want to do it through eBay. Uh, but that's just my fault for not taken in the right way. So I'm going to show you the piece of software now that you can use to be able to stop it from doing this. The piece of software that I'm going to show you is this one here called Fast Stone Photo Resizer. So once you've downloaded it, I'll put a link in the description to show you uh, where you can download it from. It is completely free. I have used other pieces of software and tried other pieces out that you do have to pay for. So I tried to sort of see if I can get it cheaper for people and then realized that, you know what, let's just try and find a free one. And this is perfect. So when I open up fast stone you can see here i've only got two things on my desktop to make this video easier and there is that ebay dress uh, folder so i'm just going to click on that folder i'm not going to click into it just going to click on that one and when i click add and that folder comes over to this section over here and it tells me that inside of there i have 10 files you can upload as many as you like i did this with all those photos of those ties i was listing and there was over 400 photos in there of ties i know it took me forever um, but then when I put them in here, it took all 400 of them and just and just did it. So once you've done that, you can go down here and this is the important bit where all the settings are. So you can come down here and you can choose the format. You've got all different types of formats to use. I personally like to just keep it with JPEG because that is sort of the most well-known uh, format. Um, and it's just, it keeps the quality of the photo as well. Now this is where the important bit is. You need to then click settings. And on here, um, you can choose the quality. I've set mine up to 100. Um, I think it starts you off at about 60, but I push mine up to 100. And then I leave everything else, but this one down here, it says keep EXIF IPTC data. You need to untick that. The main point of this is that the EXIF data is the data that is stored on the photos, which causes it then to rotate because the data that's on your photos says, it was used using a phone that can auto rotate. It's got all the loads and loads of other information, your date, your time, your location, all that sort of data. It gets rid of all of that. So you don't need any of that to upload it to eBay. So you want to um, untick 
that box there click OK you can then decide where you want to put it so in this case I've typed in here Roman dress because I want it to create a folder called Roman dress if you don't have a folder um, called whatever it is that you want to call it you can actually just type it in there and it will then ask you oh, it'll pop up and it will show you in a minute it will then ask you if you want to create that folder so you can type in there whatever folder you want to call it so I'm just in this case going to call it Roman dress because this is what the uh, pictures are of you can call it eBay items you can call it the today's date of when you've done it you can call it whatever obviously whatever folder you want just to make things easy for you so you can click browse and you can click where you want to save it to in this case I'm just saving it to my desktop and I'm going to put it in a folder called Roman dress so everything else keep it as it is ticked here um, I think I might have changed some things uh, from the original setup that it gives you just doubly check that your tick boxes are the same as these tick boxes there is advanced options now I've not done anything in here but if for some reason it's nothing to do with eBay and you want to do something bulk load for your images for some other reason whether it is you want to resize them all you want to rotate them all crop them anything like that um, you can add a watermark if you want to put a watermark on all of your photos all this sort of stuff I've never used any of these um, advanced options I've never needed to but please do not click this rotate button here this will do it for you don't say that it's going to flip or rotate or anything because this is what is it is doing for you so ignore that so don't click any of these uh, for this case if you want to use this at a later date for whatever reason it's a great piece of kit so once you've done that so you've changed the settings you've said where you want it to stay and then all that you do then is click convert it will then pop up to say here um, in this case um, the folder does not exist or want to create it so if you've put it into a folder that already does exist obviously you won't get this issue popping up but I want to create a new folder called Rome address it goes somewhere else and I can then access the files there so ask me if I want to create it I want to click yes and then as it goes through it will start doing every single one of them it will process them or it will go through them obviously the more photos you have the longer it will take to do this but it doesn't take that long in comparison to you actually uploading them all by the time you've written a description for one of your listings your photos will probably be done so it doesn't take that long at all that was 10 photos saves me so so much time so i click done and it says here it's going to open the containing folder for me so i'm going to click done and then here you go it's opened the folder for me now those photos look no different okay so they don't look any different from the original folder but this is my new folder here so you can see here um this is here roman dress and then inside that folder there's another folder called ebay dress so i'm going to then go on to ebay i'm going to delete all these photos here and then we're going to add these photos again so i'm going to click add photos and then I'm going to find that dress. So on my desktop, there's a new folder now called Roman Dress. I'm going to click into there. I've got another folder in there. And then I'm going to then click and upload all of these photos again. I'm going to click open. And then as they start to upload, you will notice now they are the correct way up. And it made things so, so much easier. And again, please do bear in mind that those last two photos will still be sideways because, again, I took them that way you know I did them the wrong way that was my own fault that is something that I've now got to go in and fix so for example if you did a day of photographing and you spent hours and hours photographing you've gotten 500 photos of your items for that day and you've gone to upload them and they all keep going up sideways it can get very very frustrating um, especially if you've got 500 photos and I'll go in and manually rotate so this will do it all for you it will take probably I think it took about five ten minutes to do all my 400 photos which wasn't very long at all. The fact that I've now got to go in and click every single photo and then rotate them and it just gets very frustrating, very, very time consuming. So hopefully this will come in handy for most of you who are having this issue. Like I said, you can use the app on your phone or an iPad or something like that and there isn't any of these issues but you don't have the capability to do a lot of the things that you can do on the computer. The app on the phone and on the iPad are very basic. They do the basic stuff that allow you to upload your items, uh, but they, you can't change the font style or anything like that in the description on the app, or you can't change, you can't click the mobile friendly checker, and you can't sort of do those little other fine tuning bits that you can do on the computer compared. So I was personally preferring the app because of this issue. It was so, so frustrating with this being an issue with the photos, but now this is sorted, I'm feeling so much better about using the computer to actually upload um, my photos onto my eBay listings and do it like that. I am aware that some people do create the drafts, then upload the photos to that draft and then finish it off on the computer. But again, 
if you can just do it all in one go on the computer it makes things so much easier and so much quicker and again like I said earlier if your items are similar you can use that bulk upload option so you can sort of bulk list all your items and things get done so so much quicker um, and now your photos won't rotate again it can be so much quicker as well so that is it that is it for this video um, I hope that was useful to you please do let me know if it was useful or if there's something that wasn't quite clear you didn't quite understand it was only a really quick video just to show you what this software can do the link to the software will be in the description it is free to use so just download it from the website go through the setup options and you will see exactly how I have seen it if there's any issues or any questions please do pop them in the comments below if you do download the software and use it please do let me know if it works for you I'd be so so happy to hear it Thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And like I said, if you did like this video and it was useful, please do give it a thumbs up to just let me know and to let others know that you did like this video as well. So thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you soon.